This is the brand new Genesis Platinum made by EOS Tech. The purpose of this video is to show some of its basic operation so that you are more comfortable with its usage and can get the waters that you want to make you and your family healthy and happy. So let's zoom in here on the screen. You can see that the Genesis Platinum has the most advanced screen of any water ionizer on the market. It displays pH, it displays the water flow, it displays the filter life of both a number one and number two filter. It has uh, an auto diagnostic system that will tell you if there's something wrong with the machine, which is displayed as a wrench and then, an, and then a code so that you can look it up in the manual and know exactly what's wrong. So say there's a problem with a filter, it'll say E1. You look up E1 in your manual and it'll say problem with the filter. So that is very nifty to have a machine that is aware of when it's having a problem. So your water quality doesn't get compromised. There are eight buttons for selecting pH and one button for turning the water on and off. Your alkaline buttons are these top four here. Alkaline one, two, three, and four. And on the bottom you have your mode button for going in and changing some of the settings of the machine. You have your set button for making the settings stick. You have your acid button for creating acid water. And you have your purified only button for creating water that just goes through the filters and that's only filtered. The bottom button here is your on and off button. This turns the water on and off. So let's start with the number four alkaline setting. You can see it displays 11 pH. This is the best water to use for cooking, for making your coffee, for making your teas, because it neutralizes the acid and what you're cooking. So it brings out the natural flavors and makes it taste better and makes it healthier. So if I want to get water on this setting, all I have to do is press the on button. Alkaline water in fourth step. It announces to me that it's alkaline water in the fourth step. You can see it's adjusting the pH to 11.0 and the water comes out of this stainless steel hose. Now while this alkaline water at 11 pH is being made, there is a secondary hose in the back here that is dispensing acid water. This is the byproduct of making the alkaline water. You can see I had my machine set up so that this secondary hose is just kind of uh, up in the air and letting the water drop to the sink. This is so that if I wanted to, I could put a bucket or put a glass underneath that secondary hose, capture that water and use it for sterilizing my countertops, use it for sterilizing my sponges or my toothbrushes. It's a good disinfectant and that water really shouldn't be wasted and I feel bad about wasting it in this video. However, I don't have any more hands. So this is what we've got. So again, 11.0 pH water is for cooking. If I want to drink the water, I'm going to press the number three alkaline, alkaline button. The machine will adjust the pH to a 9.5. And this is the best water for drinking. It's a 9.5 pH and about a minus 300 ORP, which most health practitioners and doctors will say is the best water for drinking. It is most closely uh, it's closest to the water that you'd find in natural springs, like coming in out of Lourdes, France, or some of the glacial streams. When they did studies on this water, they found the pH to be about 9.5 minus 300. So when you have it on this setting, you are drinking the most natural and the healthiest water for you. The next button is the number two alkaline, water in second step. alkaline setting. This is a 9.0 pH. This is a good starter level. So when you are starting to drink alkaline water, you should start on the 8.5 or 9.0 level. And this will give your body a chance to detoxify slowly. If you are really toxic, meaning you eat a lot of fast food, a lot of meats, a lot of proteins, a lot of uh, oils, sugars, and salts, drinking this water with its high antioxidants is going to cause you to detoxify. So we recommend that you start off on 8.5 or 11, or I'm sorry, 9.0, and you drink that water for about a week. Then you can graduate to the next level after that, which would be 9.5 or 9.0, whichever you started at. And this just gives your body a chance to adjust. The ideal drinking water is that 9.5 setting. So the next setting I'm gonna show you is the acid. So I'm going to press the acid button 
acidic water in fourth step. It announces acidic water in fourth step. You can see it adjusted it all the way down to a three pH. It's giving me some chimes to let me know not to drink this water. This is the water that's a good disinfectant. You can use it for sterilizing, as I said before. And then, while this acid water is being made out of the stainless steel hose, in the background, that secondary hose is now dispensing very, very strong alkaline water, even stronger than the number four alkaline setting. So if you wanted to, you could use that very, very strong alkaline water as a natural detergent, also for cleaning purposes. If I press the acid water button again, Acidic water in first step. It's going to go to the number one acid setting, which is a 6 pH. This is a good water for your plants, your house plants. They like it at about a 6.0 pH. If I press it again, Acidic water in second step. It goes to the second step acid water, which is a 5.0 pH. And this is a great beauty water. This is the water you want to use on your face. It has a natural astringent ability to it, so it's going to clean out your pores, make your face shine. It's very, very good. They actually bottle this stuff and sell it in Japan for a lot of money. So having this setting alone is worth the price of getting the Genesis Platinum. I press the acid button again, water in third step. and we go down to the 4.0 pH. This acid water is a very mild disinfectant. This would be good for cleaning out wounds, uh, rashes, poison ivy, poison oak, that sort of thing. It's, it's got enough cleaning to go into the, the wound or the rash and clean it up without irritating it. So it's much better than chemicals. The last buttons on here are the purified button. You can see this will go to where you see this lines going across the screen. This means that there's no ionization happening and that it is just filtering the water. The last two buttons on the left here are your mode and your set, it, set buttons for making changes in the mode. So if I turn the water off, and I hold down the mode for 10 seconds. And we're now into the setup of the machine. The first thing it 